we just got a new snowstorm and I had to go and save all my pots because it's been warm and now it's getting cold again and there might be some water in. Here they are. I had to take my pots inside because we are having a snapback winter. are really dirty because they have been outside for a whole winter and now we got a cold snap so actually we already had really nice spring weather and then suddenly the winter came back and these terragotta pots you can leave them outside as long as they are dry but what happened now was that uh, because it was warm already and then it started raining a little and then it got a freezing outside again so I had to take all the pots inside so last year when I was a little bit lazy and I didn't do it so I broke a couple of pots so these can be outside all winter as long as they are dry but what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna empty and wash them and then I'm gonna sterilize these for the next season because these are very dirty now, there's all kinds of bird poop and everything here. So today I'm just going to empty and wash these and, uh, and uh, then uh, with Hui we are going to make a video of how to clean terracotta pots, the earth friendly way. So you can get rid of all this white stuff, but I actually like it. But now I'm just going to clean this anyway, because there's so much bird poop and everything. So uh, it's not, maybe there can be some something that will kill the flowers for next summer. So it's better to clean them. And now I'm just going to rinse some extra soil away from the pots and they try a little bit and tomorrow I, I start cleaning them. In the pottery you can let the clay go directly to the drainage drainage because it will block the clay will block the water flow. So what I have to do every few months is to clean this. I have this system that collects all the clay. Oh. I collect this and then I put this bucket by my uh, kiln and when they have dried out then I just put them in the compost. But if there's any any chemicals or oxides then you should take it to the recycling center and this is really simple I just bought two buckets because clay is so heavy so it will go underneath really easily you should have a separate place where you 
wash your clay things than where you wash food and stuff because if you get any food here the smell is it's gross. So in the summertime I always go outside to wash this but I can't do it now because it's too cold outside. But as I'm washing my planters tomorrow and there's gonna be vinegar and soda used so I thought they will get cleaned nicely. don't have this kind of a system it can be very expensive when you when you have to clean all the drainage it's actually very easy to do so what we got was just a couple of buckets like that I have two tubes here and they have to be higher up so that the clay can collect here and then then and that's the same thing with this It's very simple way of doing it. I'm sure there is a lot of drawings of it online. And this is a very economical way to save your pottery. I clean this with a little bit of soda and vinegar. I just put everything together. So this is how the system looks like. And as the clay is heavier than the water, so these buckets will collect it.